I'm Dr. Randy Viola. I'm the head and men's Alpine ski team physician here with Dr. David Coopersmith, who is an internist with US Ski and Snowboarding. Today, we're at Copper Mountain, educating our Stedman Clinic fellows and educating our ATC residents. These 17 individuals, as well as the physicians from the Stedman Clinic, will provide medical support for US ski and snowboarding year round from the summer camps in New Zealand to the Olympics in China. As doctors, we're at home in the clinic and in the OR, but we may not always feel so comfortable on the hill, and so it's important to get everyone oriented to on-hill etiquette. Anything they can come into contact with on the hill, whether it's COVID or sore throat or dislocated knees and head traumas, everyone needs to be prepared to handle whatever comes up. So Dr. Stedman first started working with the U.S. ski team in 1976. At that time, the specialty of sports medicine was in its infancy. Most, if not all, athletic events didn't have medical support. Dr. Stedman put together the original program for medical support for the U.S. ski team. Today, skiing has evolved dramatically. Racers hit speeds of 80 miles an hour. On any given day, you've got 10 to 20 coaches on the hill. Follow him. The racing venues can be extremely tricky and dangerous for the uninitiated. We are educating them today for their time that they will spend traveling the world with U.S. ski and snowboard. 